Hi guys, putting here with the game in my tier 7 Japanese gun mode that I cannot pronounce. Uh, so I just call it the uh, Shira because, sorry I'm not fluent in Japanese and every time I've looked it up I just, I just had a hard time pronouncing it. So for that I apologize. Now, the reason we chose this replay for the Destroyer uh, this week is because Ranked Season is coming up and it's going to be T7. And, you know, we, you know, thought we'd at least try to f uh, focus on uh, showing some of these ships so you can see what to expect, uh, how these ships might possibly perform. As you can see, we're on trap. The I, I call this the the northern team here is going to do B and C. I've always believed uh, that that's what you should do because you know the the bulk of your 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 heavy uh, of your big guns is spawns at sea. While uh, the northern team, you can actually get to. Uh, a a little bit faster, and uh, I just feel A and B is a little bit b easier for them. The fight is usually always around B anyways. Now, uh, I do believe this is not a 19-point captain. Uh, he probably will be ranked. But the reason I think you're going to see this ship over the Bliska just a little bit more is because that concealment drops down to 5.8. That's pretty much on par with the tier 8 and up US destroyers and it's significantly good uh, uh, even for the other lines. Uh, you know, the Bliska only gets 8 kilometer torps while this ship gets 10 kilometers and then you get the torp reload uh, consumable. Had all my torpedoes dropped on the Molotov that is clearly going in a smoke cloud. <clears throat> and as you can see, that thing is just riddled with all of my torpedoes heading into it. And then if one of these manages to get the Bliska that's running away, even better, but boom. There goes the cruiser, first blood, devastating strike. We got C cap. Our brave souls that went to uh, A have been doing <clears throat> been doing a good job stopping them from capping A. The enemy team got B. But as you can see, most of our ships are coming up to C here. Now I noticed that the turpets here was getting shot by the Bliska. It's going to take me some time to catch up to the Bliska to get him uh, spotted for people to shoot. And while all that's going on, the sport torpedoes is going to start losing um, health unnecessarily. So what I do is I hit my speed boost, I pop my smoke. I see he actually turned in towards me, but I think he noticed what I was doing. So he snapped his turn. Uh, because it looked like he was going to disengage from the Bliska, but because he's got a smoke cloud, he doesn't have to worry about the Bliska hitting him with his shells anymore. And he says that you know, thank you in chat. Um, that's the uh, the other thing in ranked. The primary role of your DDs is to cap stuff and deal with the other destroyers. Get them spotted, smoke your team, cap, but if you have a carrier, you can kind of let the carrier do some of the spotting on where the enemy is to where you just need to fight for the caps and try to keep your team smoked up as much as possible. <clears throat> now, it looks like the Bliska's got uh, 
what is it, radio location, I think it's called now. I just still call it Radio Positioning Finder. Uh, the thing's gone through several name changes. But it's still a perk. Nobody asked for it. Nobody really wanted it. It's a blitz. It gets a nice, nice hit on me. But as you can see, you know, I'm not the only one shooting at him. I'm looking at all these BBs, deciding whether or not I should drop torps if they're coming towards me. I just, I decide against it because of the island. But because I had that Blishka spotted, people are going at him. You know, they're actively shooting at him. Now, it does look like he's going to manage to uh, maybe get away. I'm not sure if he did die here. I'm going to take my, to take a shot at him because... You know, I really had nothing else. <clears throat> now, at this point, I was kind of wondering what was spotting me, and then I noticed that it was the British cruiser. It looks like uh, one of the battleships was taking a shot at the cruiser behind me, not at me. But it does look like the Blishka is going to run away and live again, and that is the right call, because it at this point, what is health pulled away? It is what he should be doing is linking up with these guys and dropping smoke for his team and just trying to spot. Now, I am, I do have my uh, torp selected on the Byron, even though it says DNC, but I had actually failed to notice that this guy was actually sailing away it was a small mistake on my part I instantly hit my torpedo reload then I noticed the Amagi runs to ground and somebody calls out for him and then I'm debating you know do I drop these torps do I not I advise against it because usually when I do shoot at something that runs to ground two things happen the uh, somebody just deletes them or due to my miscalculation on what he's actually going to do all of my torps hit but luckily this uh, Fuji decided to cut back in and he eats one of my torps I'm well within detect detectability range might as well shoot my guns anyways as a torp from the second set actually connects now I do believe that might have cost the New Mexico his life because I took a big chance on dropping my torps knowing that the New Mexico was kind of advancing upon the cruiser. I thought this guy would have actually cut, cut away a lot sooner than what he did but it might have been because of my torps. But we lose the battleship, they lose the cruiser. The uh, uh, battleship is still on cap and we are still not getting it. Um, the other reason I think that you're going to see a lot more of these in ranked is because you can stealth fire. Uh, I believe, let's see, let's take a look, what is it? 9.6 is when you can start stealth firing. I do believe I have uh, advanced fire training on this gentleman, which puts me out to 13.2 kilometer of range. Uh, I'm not sure if I have adrenaline rush on this yet, but I'm thinking about going with expert marksman because these turrets do turn uh, a little bit slow, and I'm. Uh, I do believe with Expert Marksman, it would help these turrets turn a lot better. We can't be. Uh, somebody calls out for me not to die. Uh, I'm just going to go with, I have no idea why they would say that. I was, wasn't spotted, but he might have been panicking because I was shooting. I'm sure he also meant to say we need eyes for the guys that were coming out of... Uh, a, you know, we needed eyes for the guys that are finally advancing on from C on to B. We need spots for the enemy coming out of A. And I dropped my smoke screen because I noticed there's the North Carolina, there's the two torpedoes and a cruiser behind me. 
<coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Let them use my smoke. I'll go out and I'll try to keep these ships spotted. Now, with the random battle, uh, it's uh, I think it's a little bit tougher for you to really get uh, really good solid spotting damage because there just are that many more ships to where in rank, uh, what is it, seven? Excuse me, I'm sorry, guys. Well, there are less uh, ships, and a lot of people go into rank knowing that they're going to want to be sitting in smoke. Um, I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot of Belfast because of that. We might be seeing, uh, I'm sure, Atlantas are going to come back, possibly Indianapolis's, because those two cruisers are uh, radar cruisers, so that kind of... It gets rid of the the smoke. I don't think we're gonna see a lot of the uh, Fujis, but I'm sure there will be some in there because uh, it does have a smoke cloud. But while the Belfast has radar and smoke, I think we're gonna see a little bit more of those than Atlantis and Indies. Uh, now this North Carolina has got the radio positioning finder perk. I'm well detected. Use my last torp reload consumable and I'm just dropping everything I have to try to push this guy out of coming into this camp. Now, <clears throat> he does take a shot at me, which I completely agree with. Uh, he kind of does force me out into a bad uh, position because well, I got greedy because I wanted to get the kill on the North Cal, which I I would have done, but you know, torpedo shot it. I don't care. I did most of the damage to him. I'm gonna get most of the experience and most of the credits for that North Carolina. Now. I believe I'm just sailing straight here because I am going and check. Because anytime anybody's got that stupid perk and I kill them, I just call them out about, oh, look how beneficial that was. What a waste of four points. There it is. And I believe our North Carolina says something. And it's, no, it wasn't meant for you. It was meant for the enemy. Was going to type that out. But, uh, notice, you know, these guys maybe needed some spots. I was trying to make my way to this cruiser to possibly give him smoke. Notice he was on low health. He dies. Gonna be no smoke for him. So I might as well turn back in. Everybody's pushing up fairly hard. And now I am behind everybody. This is not a position I like to be. But with where everybody on the enemy team is and where our team is... You know, there's not too much of a uh, choice for me. Because I do want to um, stay alive to try to help out my team. It's going to be a small miracle for these guys to come back. This is another thing you're not going to be seeing in ranked is DDs getting torn by battleships. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I forgot there's the Strynhorst and... Uh, and Howard that have Torps, so you might be seeing some of that still. Um, I see this enemy ship. I'm just going to drop my Torps on him. I was debating whether or not to go after him or the North Cal that was in A. I'm like, you know, I might as well go after this guy. Try to help out our Torpets uh, so nothing funny happens. I... I held my shot for whatever reason, not sure. I should have been shooting a lot earlier as I just finished him off so he can't do anything. Uh, crazy to potentially kill our turpets. But this game is quickly wrapping up, guys. And, <clears throat> you know, I, like I said, I really think you're going to see a lot more of these ships over Belishka uh, in ranked just because this ship does have a lot more strengths than weaknesses while the Blisk is still a very good solid performing ship I'm sure you're gonna see a lot of sims still just because of defensive AA fire and that US glorious smoke 
Uh, but I really think you're going to see a lot of these ships because they are the, and I use this loosely, gunboats. But just because of the concealment, the stealth fire, it's an all-around great ship. And with that, guys, we are just going to take a look at the post-battle results. 109,000 damage. First blood, devastating strike. And with the three ships I sent to the bottom of the sea, number one on the team with base experience of 2,100. Made a decent profit in this ship, but I'm in no need of money. I run all premium consumables, so that's nice. 9,000 damage coming from my guns, 99,000 coming from my torpedoes, and just 91 from the one flood. Just want to say, uh, again guys, uh, please compliment people that play well, do well, help the team. We're quick to report to uh, compliment. I would also like to apologize for any uh, Barking in the background, I'm watching my brother's dogs. Again, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please keep those replays coming in. We do enjoy them. Hit that like and subscribe button, and have yourselves a great day.